In this video, I'd like to demonstrate how to use the cavity command to remove material from this part where this part interferes. So first, I'm going to select this part and change its transparency. What I'm after is I would like to cut where this sweep cut thread interferes with this part so that the thread in this part perfectly matches the thread in this part. So next, I'm going to select the part again, turn its transparency off. Then I'll select it one more time. Until SolidWorks, I want to edit the part. Now from the drop down menus, I'm going to select insert, molds, and then cavity. I'll select this part, and by doing so I've told SolidWorks wherever this interferes with this part, remove the material. For the scale parameters, I want to scale about the origin with uniform scaling, and I'll say OK. Now that I've said OK, I can see there's a problem, and the problem's with the mates. The screw mate now has a problem, and that problem we'll address in the next video. For now, we're not going to worry about it because it's a very simple solution. What I do want to do now is I want to select this part and tell SolidWorks, let's open it in its current position because I'd like to see what I did. I come over here, I see the part's fine, there's no errors there. And here in the feature tree, I'll expand this. And what it says is a cavity was created in the context of something else, in this case the assembly where this part interferes. And to see what we did, I'm going to choose a section view and say OK. And there we can see the thread we have. So in another video, we'll look at how we get this thread to go through the rest of the part. I'll just stop the section view, rebuild and save this, and close it. And then we'll address our meat issue in the next video. So I'll stop editing this part and continue from there.